Okay, lesson 13-6, using a number line to compare fractions. So let's take a look here at our sheet. A number line is a line that shows numbers in order using a scale. The scale, don't think of like a scale that you weigh yourself on. This is a, a scale means a number line. This is a way to measure. So that's exactly what a scale is. When you get on it, you're measuring your weight. But here, we are measuring distance with a number line. So we're gonna use the number line to compare one-fourth and three-fourths. Now, our denominators are the same, which is cause for celebration. We get super excited when our denominators are the same because that means that the pieces we're comparing are the same size, okay? So the fraction that is further to the right, as you move to the right, you get bigger and bigger, just like when we read. We start over here and we go that way, just like when we count. One, two, three, four, five. So as we move to the right, we get bigger and bigger, okay? when So when they're saying the fraction is farthest to the right, they're asking for the greatest fraction, the largest one. So one-fourth compared to three-fourths, which one is larger? Well, if you had one apple compared to three apples, well, who has more? The three, right? So one-fourth is less than three-fourths, pointing to the small number, and our alligator eating our bigger number, okay? Use the number line to compare two-thirds and one-third. Okay, again, our denominators are the same. We should have a party. That is super exciting and makes our life so much easier. So two-thirds compared to one-third, all right? One-third and two-thirds. Which fraction is further to the right? That means bigger, okay? So... Which fraction is further to the right? You write that right here. Write the fraction. Which one? Is it one third or, or two thirds or one third? You should have written two thirds, right? So now I want you to use greater than, less than to write that answer right there. Two thirds compared to one third. Which one is greater? Which one is less? Use greater than or less than. Should look like that, pointing to the smaller number. Two thirds is greater than one third. Okay, let's use the number lines to compare one half and one sixth. All right, we have different denominators. You can cancel the party, okay? Because now we have to stop and think. If we're using number lines, we need to make two separate number lines. We are not going to compare one half and one sixth on the same number line, okay? So here is one number line, and here is a separate number line. Okay, so just ignore this one for now, all right? So where is one half? Right there, good. And let's look down here at one sixth. Where is one sixth? Put a dot on one sixth. Okay, so now we can look at our number lines. Which one is further to the right? Which one is closer to one? Write that fraction right here. You can pause it if you need to. You should have written one half, right? Because that's that's it's further to the right, which means it's larger. So then go ahead and write the comparison here, greater than or less than for one half compared to one six. Pause it. So one half is greater than one sixth. So it should be eating the bigger fraction pointing to the smaller one, okay? Remembering our pizza day, okay? Don't get confused thinking two is smaller than six. In fractions, all those rules are off. It doesn't, everything you know about numbers does not come into play with this one, okay? You have to think about the pizza. And if you have two equal size pizzas, which they need to be, and one of them you, you cut in half, two parts total, right? And you get one half of that pizza. That's a huge part of that pizza. This one, I'm going to divide into six equal parts. So the more parts we divide it into, the smaller those pieces get. So I'm getting one sixth. So think of the pizza. Think of taking a pizza and dividing it into six equal parts compared to two equal parts. And because we have one of each, 
we know that the smaller, the less number of parts we divide something into, the bigger the pieces are going to be, okay? Think of having $100 and splitting it between two people or splitting it between six people. Which table do you wanna be at? Probably the two, okay? All right, so Simon is comparing one-fourth and five-sixths. What's the first thing you should notice about those denominators? Yes, they are different, so we need to pay attention to what we're doing. It says you use a number line to compare. They want to know which fraction is greater. So we need two separate number lines, right? We are not going to compare one-fourth and one-sixth on the same number line. However, they need to be exactly the same size number lines. We need to have our zero in the same exact spot and our one in the same exact spot. I want you to pause the video, make this one into fourths, and make this one into sixth. And then we'll come back. Pause the video. Okay, so fourths should have been four parts, three lines. Three lines is odd, so we can split it in half, split that in half, and split that in half, okay? And this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So one fourth is right here, okay? Now, it's really helpful to ignore this when you're doing the other one because otherwise the lines just make you think you're gonna supposed to make the lines in the same spot. Six sections, six sections, five lines. It's odd, so that means we can divide it in half. Let's make sure our half is lined up, okay? That's really important. Now, I want six sections, five lines. So I already drew one of them. So I want two on each side of that halfway mark. So I'm just gonna try to put these evenly. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six sections with five lines and one, two, three, four, four sections with five lines. So I want five, six. So this is one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and of course, six, six. So my dot for five, six is right here. So which fraction is further to the right? That's gonna be our larger. So go ahead and fill in whether there's the greater than, less than sign right there. And it should be that one fourth is less than five, six. All right, great job.